Hi, I'm Gabby Fuller and I am from the reigning world champion Top Gun 005 and today I'm going to show you how to do our competition makeup. So let's get started. So I start off, I do my eyes first because I don't know what I'm doing half the time. So if I start with my eyes and I mess up, I can wipe it off easy without having to like redo my whole face. So I start off by like priming my face a little bit and then I just use that as like my base also for my eyes. Alright, so then I rub that all over and then I just kind of do like a brownish like shade in the crease and then that normally looks kind of bad but then once you put the glitter on it just fixes everything so it doesn't matter. So I start with like a lighter brown. Most of my makeup is drugstore because I don't wear makeup often. And then I go in with a little bit darker like a reddish brown color. Normally I start getting ready really early because I just don't even like to stress about it. So I leave like two hours just to get completely ready but then half the time is me just like not like singing the music or something and not actually getting ready. But I like to take my time so I don't ever have to rush. Um, I listen to like basic white girl songs, so either like Adele or like High School Musical, totally ranges from whatever. <laughs> Not everyone's cup of tea, but it's my favorite. And then from there, I go with one, like one more darker brown just in the very outer corner. And then I just take pretty much the same colors and do them under my eye. So it just kind of blends it all together. So that's pretty much done with my eyes. I don't do too much because the glitter just kind of takes over everything. So next I'm going to take glitter primer and use it as the base for the glitter and that's just going to go all over my lid. Glitter primer is basically just glue that makes your glitter stick so it doesn't go all over your face and all over everything else that it touches. You also have to be precise with the glue because you don't want the glitter just to kind of like go all over your eye. You want it to like stay in the specific spot that you want it to. And then this, the glitter is like the most important part because basically everything else doesn't matter because it just kind of covers it all. And it makes you look like you know what you're doing because it makes it look good. brush off all the fallout from the glitter because it's kind of everywhere. Then after the glitter's on, you can kind of get a better idea of what you want the like outside to look like. So then I'll probably go back in with the dark brown a little bit and just deepen up the crease and then that'll pretty much be it for the actual eye. I had my first year on Top Gun, I had someone else do my makeup and that was when we just did the like boring smoky eye and then from that I learned how to do that by myself and then that's when everyone started to do like either glitter liner or like some sort of glitter just to make it look a little bit more like vibrant than just the smoky eye. And then from there I found a video on YouTube that pretty much did this but not as like cheer makeup y just like normal makeup and then I went based off that and that's what I've done all last year and it's actually stuck the entire year. And then from there, I do winged eyeliner, which is always a process. What I do is, I mean, it's a nice trick because I don't know how to do it other than that. I like line it up from like under my nose to the tip of my eye, or the end of my eyebrow, and just kind of like do the outside, and then from there I'll just connect it through. Alright, next I go in with eyelashes, which again also kind of fixes everything because it just pretty much hides all your mistakes that you just made and it makes everything look like you have it all put together. 
for competitions, I like very dramatic ones, but I don't currently have those. So I just use kind of like the ones that I have for like other occasions whenever I get dressed up. The hardest part for me is, for the eyes would definitely be eyeliner. Because especially like for competitions, I'm very particular about my makeup. So when they don't match, I start to kind of freak out a little bit and I have to redo them a lot. Then the trick for eyelashes is just to make sure that the glue dries a little bit and then just place them on. That's not too much good. Okay, now that the eyelashes are finally on and sticking, I'm gonna go in with mascara just to blend my natural eyelashes with the fake eyelashes. As long as I just go back with this tool and keep like squeezing the eyelashes to my lid until I feel that they're actually like sturdy and gonna stick. And then even then I make sure I always pack eyelash glue with me for competitions because if they start to peel off, then your makeup just looks kind of crazy. And it's definitely something important that you always need to fix. And then, and then I'm gonna also put some mascara on my bottom lash line. Right. And that is the final look for the eyes. And now I'm gonna go in with face makeup. And I actually, later on in the season stopped wearing like foundation as a base because a lot of the times you like start to sweat throughout warm-ups and then it just kind of looks like cakey on your face and doesn't like it wasn't sitting right on my face so now i just go in with a little bit of concealer and then just powder and then bronze and highlight and everything from there I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. I just kind of keep going until everything is like blended and looks like it's like set and nice as a base. I don't know, foundation like whenever I start to like sweat and everything, or it just starts to feel like it's just like sticky and gross and I don't like feeling like that, so I just stop doing it. And then I go over top of that with like contour and highlight and everything. I don't know. That's what the beauty people do. I always use beauty blenders for like the longest time, but then Normally, I'll use a beauty blender, if, if anything, just for like my concealer. But I just think, especially with if I'm not using foundation, that if I just use a brush with my concealer, I can get it just kind of all over my face more, and like cover more area. And then from there, I just put a little bit of blush on. This is like my only actual like good product because everyone like swears by it, but I use the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Other than that, everything's drugstore. That's like the only thing that's not. And then I go in with highlighter. I actually have like a cream highlighter. So I just put it on where I want it and then you're probably not supposed to do this but then I just blend it out with my fingers sometimes 
like over top of this, I'll just go in with another highlighter if I want a little bit more highlight, but. I'm using MAC Red Lipstick. This was actually the one that they gave us to use, but it all kind of depends on personal preference and like the shade that looks best on your skin. So I know a lot of people with like dark hair like a darker red lipstick, but I just go in with pretty much just like a basic red. And then from there, a lot of the times I don't like the actual outline of it. I'll probably go with foundation because I don't want the concealer to be too light. And then just a small brush and just kind of outline the line that I want it to be in. Once my lipstick's on, I just go back in one more time with like a big fluffy brush and just make sure everything's blended out nice. And I'll probably go back through and just put a little bit more highlighter on because you want to look like a glazed donut on the stage. <laughs> and then I think that's it. And that is the end of my competition look. I hope you guys enjoyed learning how I do my makeup and watching the process. But now I actually have practice with 005, so I'm gonna take all this off and go have practice with my reigning world champs.